Hey everyone, uh, welcome back on the channel. Welcome back to another lossless scaling update video. So for those who don't know, lossless scaling version 2.9 just released along with some interesting updates like uh, LSFG 2.1 and the big elephant in the room, the X3 frame generation. It has also another mode called X2 frame generation. So what is this X2, X3 frame generation? How is 2.1 different from the previous version like 2.0 or 1.1? We're going to discuss everything in this video. So this is going to be a little bit longer than expected. Uh, we will also uh, test and elaborate uh, everything in this video. So do try to stick on. And uh, today the game we're going to be testing is uh, Cyberpunk and Spider-Man 2 PC port. So I have already run Cyberpunk in the background. And uh, right now the, without the lossless scaling, uh, the PS I'm getting is around uh, 30 to 40 in this area the setting which I am using right now is 1080p but uh, you have to set uh, the windows to borderless mode in order to make the lossless scaling working and I'm using the Nvidia DLA along with this uh, high graphics preset so yeah the FPS right now I'm getting around is uh, around 30 to 40 so yeah we're going to turn on the lossless scaling now so here is the lossless scaling so if you are first time using the lossless scaling you will see some new options uh, like uh, the lsfg 2.1 the mode x3 x2 so in this one first we are going to try the x2 mode uh, without the performance why without the performance i will tell about it in a little bit later so first we are going to select the lsfg 2.1 which is better than 2.0 it reduces some flicker and uh, ghosting effect uh, we're going to select the x2 mode scaling mode we don't need to select anything uh, you can select it or not select it uh, sometime it's works sometime it doesn't so yeah better turn this off and we're going to go back inside the game and now uh, we're going to hit the shortcut which is control then alt and a and now you can see the generated fps at the top left corner and the right corner so at the top left corner you can see kind of two fps like one is showing the base fps which is around 40 to 43 and the generated fps which is 80 to 90 and it is definitely smoother you guys can feel it in the video thing i think uh, i hope the video is getting recorded at uh, full resolution 60 fps so yeah uh, you can feel the smoothness here uh, so yeah this is the 2x mode but when you want to use the 3x mode uh, in order to use the 3x mode we will need to create some scenarios which is wait first let me disable the frame generation so we are going to turn on the ray tracing uh, along with the ray trace lighting and shadows uh, no not the shadows the reflections and we are going to use the DLSS on quality so without this frame generation we are now getting around uh, only 20 to 30 fps uh, the video is being recorded at 60 fps from my smartphone that's so why it seems a little bit smoother but it's not actually that smooth it's running only at 30 fps so now what we're going to do is go back to the lossless scaling again then we're going to select this 3x mode along with the performance so that what the performance mode do is uh, boost your fps even more higher but it will create some additional artifacts and glitches which i will show you right now if i go back into the game uh, the FPS is still around 30 so we are going to hide this overlay and turn on the hotkey and now uh, you can uh, see the FPS has boosted from uh, 30 to 70, 60, 69 nice uh, to a 70 FPS but uh, if you notice closely you can maybe notice some small uh, glitches and ghosting around the car when moving at very high speed. Uh, so yeah, this is the cost uh, you have to pay with the 3x uh, performance upgrade uh, But yeah, it's, it's smooth. It's not perfect, but developers are working. I think uh, Hard to make this even more smoother. So maybe even after few patches it will get more smoother and everything uh, So yeah, this is the cyberpunk test uh, we have just uh, done now We are going to jump into the spider-man 2 gameplay Okay, so we are back in spider-man 2 and FPS is uh, around 30, 40. It's okay, but uh, we're going to boost it even more further. Uh, you might get a little bit issue noticing the FPS at the top left or right corner because recording with the smartphone is not so easy. So yeah, let's uh, switch to uh, lossless scaling app. We're going to select X3 with performance mode. 
and uh, we're going to hide the MS after burn overlay and hit the hotkey in the game and now uh, you can see the FPS has boosted from 40 to 90, 94, 140, wow nice uh, that is very high there is some occasional starter that's not because of lossless scaling but that's because of my system uh, there is an issue with my system maybe I don't know malware or something uh, I'm facing this uh, what do you say a lag issue in this spider-man game for few past few days but yeah, it's uh, definitely very smooth uh, yeah I will put another uh, gameplay on the screen and this is the recording of a screen so yeah uh, if this video helps you you can uh, subscribe to the channel if you face any kind of issue you can comment down below and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one then cheers Spider-Man? What is this? Help! Hey! Where'd they go? Think you can defeat my most demanding illusions? Mm. I doubt it. Spider-Man? What do you see in there? Bunch of bad guys, including Mysterio. I know this will sound hard, but Cole and I believe that this rogue Mysterio was created by whoever corrupted our Mysterio. They are trying to frame me by using weaponized illusions to torture people. Yeah. We believe that if you defeat these anomalies, we will be able to save the hostage. Yeah. And moreover, the more efficient you are in dispatching the anomalies, the closer we can what went wrong. And why? Do you want to be bugging Cole by fighting these weird green skull dudes? Okay.